Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm currently streaming, but I'm going to be making this video while streaming. Basically, Claude Code has just released an update with plan mode inside it, and it basically just makes Claude Code even better. Claude Code, in my opinion, was already the best tool on the market, and now it's even better. You can now even try it for $20 a month and get some usage out of it and see if you like it. And then if you do like it, you can upgrade to the $100 or the $200 one. I am on the $200 max plan and it's absolutely phenomenal. Now, if you haven't been watching my streams or you don't know what the hell I've been working on the last week and a half, I'm basically making this entire dashboard which will automate people's Shopify store SEO for them. It will in the future also do WordPress and I'm just making this entire tool um, just A, as a way to test Claude Code and B, as a way to um, kind of monetize vibe coding for myself, right? So it currently does all of this completely automatically. And I'm just going to try and add a new feature right now with the plan mode, and we're going to test it out. So I'm already inside the project here. I just ran a slash compact. We've been coding for, uh, I've been streaming for three hours, so I've been coding for three hours now. Completely uninterrupted coding session with slash compact, so that's really, really nice as well. And what you can do is you can do shift tab, to turn on plan mode, and we're gonna have a conversation here with Claude. So I'm just gonna say, I want to add a new agentic feature using Pydantic, similar to my, my current feature, but which analyzes one of non-recurring events, i.e. birthdays, funerals, etc., that would make sense for that store. I don't know how to implement this exactly, so I would like you to design a system that works using Pydantic, using AI, using Claude Sonic 4, just as my current Pydantic system does for holiday uh, recurring collections. Can you help me plan this out? I would really like super specific um, collections like funeral attire for men, um, etc. Or like, or birthday gifts for under 100. That kind of ultra specific stuff with um, a limit of how many collections? 100 maybe would be good. Collections and with a good variety. Also the base collections such as funeral attire for, funeral attire for men, funeral attire. And birthday gifts should also be created. Okay, so let's see how this actually works in terms of um, the plan mode. So this probably will take some time, so I'll probably pause the recording here. Okay, so what it first does is it current, it, it's analyzing the current system, right? Which it should already understand, but it's good that it's still analyzing it, how it works, etc. It's using Pydantic. The reason I decided to use Pydantic instead of the Google ADK is just because I don't really like when an LLM has to do research on things. So because Pydantic is two years old and it's open source, it's already in its memory. Whereas the Google ADK, as far as, it, as far as the base model is concerned, doesn't actually have that knowledge. When you have to give external knowledge to LLMs, I just find that it relies too heavily on its training and kind of just forgets about the context that you're feeding it. Okay, so this is the plan that it's come up with. Let's have a little look here. So. Um, event categories, milestone birthdays, I guess would make sense. Yeah. Lifetime celebrations. Sure. Achievements. Yeah. Somber events. Yeah. Personal occasions. Sure. Yeah. Like housewarming. Why the fuck not? Like this is supposed to be a universal store. So this makes sense. Ultra specific collections, general attire, respectful black suits, high school graduation, yes, athletes. Sure. Yeah. 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 This is really good. 
Okay, so that's a pretty good plan. New Pylantic Scamers. Sure. Looks good. The agent will analyze store products to identify life event gift potential. Generates a diverse mix of 100 collections with good coverage. Create both broad and ultra-specific collections. Consider seasonality. Use actual product data. I mean, this is pretty good. Service layer. Collection generation strategy. Start with base events. Add age variants. Add gender-specific variants. Add price range variants. Add ultra-specific combinations. Total 100. Smart distribution algorithm. Ensure coverage of all major life events. Balance between broad and specific. Prioritize based on stores. Product mix. Avoid redundancy. Uh, trigger should be... So the trigger... The trigger in this case should be a button inside. So let's just go here and um, feed this here. That says experimental, create all gift, um, no, all lifetime event collections, 100. Uh, once they press this, they have to confirm that's what they want to do. And then if they confirm it, it triggers it. This is not an automation. Okay, nice. Okay, so I slightly changed the plan here. I just added a couple more things. I just said um, the trigger should be a button in this case. So add a button here, perfect. New root endpoint, perfect. New background task, okay. Collection title templates, okay. Remember all decisions should be made by AI or content should be created by AI. It should not be programmatically generated, but generated from a series of prompting templates. So we'll just add this as well. I find this super, super helpful because otherwise it tries to hard code things like, you know, removing words programmatically and stuff, and it just doesn't work as well. Also, they should be able to run this once every every three months and all previous generations should be fed to uh, the prompt to avoid duplication um, as well. Okay. This is why this is so good, by the way, guys. It's not making any assumptions, right? Instead, we're going through a whole planning process. And trust me, it would have made assumptions that I wouldn't have liked, right? So previously, I didn't even say that I wanted it to be a button, for example. So I had to tell it I wanted it to be a button. And now I changed it slightly that they can use every three months. So this plan mode means that you can very, very easily plan the entire thing and no assumptions will be made either by you or by the AI. So that this is why this mode is so good. And it's, it's just, it, it's a beautiful addition. I know that Klein already had it and stuff, but this is a beautiful addition to Claude Code specifically because it really makes it feel like a more complete tool that you are guiding. And also another thing, guys, is that I've kind of changed my opinion on vibe coding. I think it's better to do everything bit by bit instead of using an entire, uh, like a one-shot prompt, right? So let me revise the plan so it's fully AI-driven. AI-driven collection generation. So this is the problem, right? Previously, it was trying to do everything programmatically. I don't want it to do things programmatically. I wanted to use a templated prompt, which is what it's doing now, okay? Beautiful. Claude Sonic 4, beautiful. It's using the right model instead of using the wrong model. This is literally perfect. I can just say, shift uh, tab twice, make me this. Wait, actually, just one more thing. Um, uh, please note, uh, you will also need to consider databasing for this, most likely. Have you considered databasing? You will need to use the Superbase MCP to make any changes to my um, local host dev database and also a migration script to move that database to um my dev and prod databases so that's just one more tiny little thing um these are all things that i've learned by building new features into my app 
It doesn't think about databasing when it makes a new thing. So if, it, if it's making a new feature, it, it absolutely has to do something to the database. So you can see here, it, it has actually thought about the database in this case, but this is incorrect because it doesn't need to think about the database here. It needs to think about Superbase, right? So I'm just reminding it that it actually has to think of Superbase. Okay, so it's come up with a new plan, including uh, changing databases and stuff. Uh, so it's got the entire plan now. What I'll do is I'll put this on uh, act mode. So auto accept edits on. Please make this entire feature start. Uh, wait. First, merge my latest changes to dev as they're stable and then start a new branch called uh, experimental feature. Ensure to use the super base MCP throughout this process. Do me a nice one shot, bro. Come on, you can do it. Prove you're as intelligent as they say. Okay, so we'll let this run. I'll be streaming at the same time and talking about it, but um, I'm gonna let this run. I'm not gonna change anything. I won't interrupt it and we'll see how this does. Okay guys, so completely unbiased report. Let's see how this actually does, right? So create all the lifetime collections. Did that do anything? Okay, so it's pretty normal for them to be some original errors. Let's just see if we can fix these errors real quick. Okay, so I just need to restart the Docker project. That was the problem. Uh, let's press create here. This is very experimental. Let's see what the hell happens here. Okay, so we do have some errors. This is pretty normal. This happens pretty much every single time. There's just basically some uh, formatting problems. So we can just fix these by just feeding these every time to, um, to Claude code. This always happens. This is normal. So yeah, again, this time it was just because it didn't restart the Docker container. I don't know why it can't just restart everything. I don't know why Claude code can't use its big, big brain, but it's pretty nice to have Docker connected to uh, Claude code. As you can see, like it's doing everything. I don't necessarily have to understand what it's doing, but it, it's doing stuff, right? So let's try this. Let's refresh this, create all, let's yes, create. So you can see it's actually picked up its own error here. So you can see logger is undefined. It was, it was reading the logs at the time and it found its own error. So it's like self fixing, which is also super, super cool about this setup. It's reading the Docker logs at, at the same time as me doing stuff. The only issue, as you can see, is that it's now doing a compact, which means it's now a completely new conversation while it's doing that compact. Okay, so it hasn't made the change that it was supposed to make. So now we have to wait five minutes for it to compact. So this is kind of the annoying thing about Claude code. But overall, it looks like it's done a pretty damn good job of implementing this feature. Once it's fixed, this logger is undefined or is not defined feature. I believe that this will pretty much work. Okay, guys, so let's do this again. Let's see if there's the same error. There we go. You can see it's now analyzing the store. There might be some more errors here. It's pretty normal. Found 51, generating 100 life collections. Product category 7. Okay. Calling Claude Code to generate collections. Let's see what it comes up with here. Remember, this is a completely experimental feature that's just been created in front of your eyes. In I've been streaming for 34 minutes, so uh, 34 minutes since I last checked. So in about 30 minutes, I think it's. Um, it's it's created this entire feature, right? It looks like it is working. It's just going to take a while to generate 100 collections, I guess. Okay, so you can see here there was a slight problem. Um, it almost did it, but there's just a slight, um, yeah. There's an error here. Please fix. So we just, again, paste it here, and then it'll fix it. This is potentially a brand new agentic feature inside my code implemented by Claude code plan mode extremely easily and extremely quickly with basically no hassle whatsoever. There are always errors. That's normal. That's just how it works. So we're accident. We're not doing the JSON properly, basically. So it'll just fix that now.
Okay, so it claims the JSON handling has been fixed. So let's run this again. There shouldn't be an issue with this. I should, that should be, I know, every three months, right? Fuck. <laughs> so this is the really cool thing about the Superbase MCP is like, it, it says that I can't generate again. Normally what you'd have to do is go inside Superbase, delete man, like manually delete uh, the thing, but I don't have to because the Superbase MCP basically just did it for me. Super, super nice feature. Okay guys, so overall the result here is it completely works. That was a 40 minute feature. I believe this would have taken me a lot longer. Not only that, it's actually, it's actually tagging products too, which I didn't tell it to do, but is a part of my other system. So it's now tagging the products, right? So Groom's Wedding Collection. If I, if you go on Shopify, you'll see that it's actually tagged products that are relevant to Groom's Wedding Collection, 50th Birthday Celebration Attire, and all that good stuff. It's done a phenomenal job. It's done a much better job without plan mode. This is a level up, guys. Check this out now. Thank you for watching the video. If you're watching the video all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.